We're going to write some sensor data from a Raspberry Pi into a spreadsheet, CSV. Um, here's the simplest example I can come up with. It just writes one or two numbers into a CSV file. And all we're going to do is just swap out those numbers with uh, some sensor stuff, to write some sensor data. So, um, to, to write in the sensor data, you generally have uh, a function which takes in the, the sensor data. So, I don't know, maybe you've got like a temp sensor or something like that. Um, I, we can, we'll put that there, but like it really depends on what kind of sensor you've got. And I don't know, let's say it just gives you some random value called x. Not random. <laughs> Pretty bad if your sensor gives you random values. But my, my point is, and I'll show you two good working sensor examples in a second, but this is just to show you the structure of it. You have some kind of sensor function. They return some kind of sensor data and you stick it right in there. Okay? In other words, you get the name of the function there and you just pop it in to that list. Just like that. Now, if I run this, it won't do anything because it's not connected to the sensor. Let me go onto my Raspberry Pi here and look at two examples. So, um, this program here, uh, it just takes the internal temperature. Of the Raspberry Pi, it's built into the Raspberry Pi. So I've got nothing connected to the GPIO ports, um, and you can see here it's got a function that measures the temperature and returns some value. Okay, I've even you can print it. It prints it once. I want to make a little spreadsheet, a CSV file that takes five values in a row. And here's all I do. Um, I, I've imported CSV up the top. Um, I open the file just like last time. Uh, same here, and the only difference is now I've got the name of my function. I've pasted in this guy here. I've copy pasted that in to my list. There it is. All right. So it's now writing in the whatever gets returned from the sensor function. Um, I've because I wanted five. Uh, I've put this in a in a for loop. So all so if you want five values, you just go for x in range five. If you want 10 values, you go for x in range 10. If you wanted to just keep going, keep going, just go while true. But don't forget, if you've got a while loop or for loop, an indentation. So we'll just bump it in a little bit there. Okay, so that's that's that one. Um, and a slightly more complicated sensor, but not, not much more complicated code for the CSV part, um, is this one here. This is a, a distance sensor. Um, and you can see it's got a lot more code to because it uses um, ultrasonics to bounce a little signal off and come back and yada yada yada. But I've marked off here just where the CSV stuff happens. It look it returns a distance, okay? That that comes out, and uh, the name of that function up there is called dist to check, and I just pasted it in right here. And guess what? I want five values. So. Let's try like running some of those and, and see what we get. Okay, so if I run that, it should print the temperature once. But when I go into the CSV, because I've said in range five times, there's it printed once. Because I've I've said five times, it should actually come up with five. Um, I think I might have it open here. I'm gonna open it up in nano because it's a little bit quicker. Um, there we go. Nano test and there it is. There's my um five temperature readings and i'll go and do the the distance one so this is going to take a little longer because it's got to wait for the um distance thing to settle and it i think that should be it they're they're done okay so if i go back into uh open the csv and you can just open the csv and it'll open it lever offer or something like that the Raspberry Pi, but you know what? It's super slow and takes ages. So, if you go into the terminal here and open stuff in Nano, it's a lot faster, especially on some of the older Raspberry Pis like the one I have. Um, and there we go. It opened up the CSV file, and you can see distance from sensor, and there is all of the the distances. So the boundary is about ten centimeters away. So that is it. That is enough. It should be to to get going and to be able to go from writing some numbers uh, into a CSV file to actually getting sensors to write into it.
a CSV file. Like, see, it's actually not that much more steps. It's just literally, in summary, putting your sensor into a function, pasting the function into the right row. Um, and if you wanted, let's say, I could, for example, go distance and time. I'd go distance, comma, and then I'd put in, I could have another function uh, using the time date to get the time, and it would have a distance time, distance time, distance time, and I could have a lovely distance time graph. So, best of luck.